Chitwan National Park in South Nepal is Asia's largest rhinoceros reserve. It's important to not frighten them. It's best to get close on elephant back and watch out for movements in the grasses. In the last census, seven years ago, the park had over 600 rhinoceroses. 150 have died since, killed by poachers who sneak into the reserve. Rhinoceroses live in the open in high grasses. They are very vulnerable and are increasingly becoming targets for the poachers. Fifty gamekeepers are responsible for protecting the hundreds of square kilometers of the park. An impossible task. Yeah, this is our a small store where we used to keep our trophy, those who were confiscated from the poachers and other traders who, who were involved in the... When they do manage to arrest poachers, it's often too late. In this cupboard, the gamekeepers keep the horns and tusks confiscated during arrests. There are dozens of them, as many as the murdered animals. All this is meant for the international market. The traffickers sell them in India, in China and in Thailand. Used as decorations or as ingredients in traditional Chinese medicine, rhinoceros horns and elephant tusks are sold for several thousand euros. A rudimentary trap or a rifle is all it takes to kill an animal and procure the horns. This is for tiger and this one is This is what they use for the rhinos. They trap them and then they finish them off with spears. This is not the only park where poachers are active. Rhinoceroses have become prime targets in a rapidly expanding, well-structured network in collusion with people across Nepal's borders. Poachers group, they are well organizing uh, and always it is saying that poachers are always one step ahead than the managers and the, uh, the protection unit. That's why uh, we, it is a great threat. Animal protectionists predict that if nothing is done to stop these traffickers, it will take only about 10 years for the rhinoceros to become extinct in Nepal.